Three hours, 21 minutes in counting. Launch teams are not working any issues right now that would prevent us from launching on time at 4.50 p.m. Eastern. Currently, forecasters are calling for a 90% chance of good weather for this afternoon's launch of Space Shuttle Discovery on its STS-133 mission to the International Space Station. Managers and engineers are directing and monitoring Discovery's countdown on Kennedy's launch pad 39A from about three and a half miles away in firing room number four in the launch control center. We are almost complete with an operation known as tanking, which is filling Discovery's external tank with f about 535,000 gallons of liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. That process began on time at 7.25 a.m. Eastern. It takes about three hours, so we are almost complete with that operation. The liquid hydrogen filling of the side went into stable replenish at 9.58 a.m. Eastern. And the liquid oxygen fast fill portion began on time at 8.15 a.m. Eastern. Stable replenish is the point when engineers have control of the propellant entering the tank, keeping it at a level 100%. Roughly about uh, 40 minutes ago, the liquid hydrogen side went into 98% fill, and you slow down the flow of propellant into the liquid hydrogen portion of the tank. That's called topping. But because the tank is warm, a lot warmer than minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit, temperature of liquid hydrogen. Some of it boils off, essentially evaporates, and therefore the propellant must be continually added to keep it at 